Anything that is smart is vulnerable. Amy Zagart stated this in her TED Talk when she was discussing the Internet of Things and its darker side of vulnerability. I am invoking her quote now because in today's world and in the future, there is nothing more important, nor will there be anything more important to information security than acknowledging and addressing our vulnerability. Sony Entertainment, it seems, still has to learn this lesson. Having been the victims of a rather vicious hacking incident in 2011, Sony found itself to be the talk of the news after being hacked yet again in 2014. This time, the repercussions were far more severe than even Sony could guess. For the average Sony employee, November 24th, 2014 seemed like an average day. They got up, got dressed, and went to work. When they got there and sat down at their computers to begin their work for the day, they were greeted with the following error message. Warning. Hacked by GOP. The GOP, or Guardians of Peace, were the group responsible for the hack. They managed to slip malware in, under the radar, and freely access the company's trade secrets, taking them for themselves before wiping the data clean from the original source. They achieved this through the use of a type of malware called the Server Message Block Worm Tool. Normally, Server Message Block is used for providing shared access to files, printers, and serial ports along nodes on a network, allowing for multiple computers to be updated with information at a near instantaneous pace. Many companies use the SMB as a means to link all their computers together into a local area network, but this can be also used by hackers as an exploit to infect multiple computers at once, which is exactly what happened to Sony. The SMB used by the Guardians of Peace was used in conjunction with several other components which included a listening implant, backdoor exploitation, a proxy tool for keylogging functions, a destructive hard drive tool to delete the copied information, and a destructive target cleaning tool to wipe all evidence of the malicious code before an effective defense could be mounted against it. Among the information obtained by the hackers, there were more than 47,000 unique social security numbers taken, as well as several unreleased movie scripts, including the script for The Interview, which was a political satire film about an assassination attempt against North Korea's leader, Kim Jong-un. In fact, the GOP were suspected to have been sponsored by North Korea to hack Sony's servers in response to rumors about the film. Also obtained by the hackers were several private email messages containing celebrity gossip and rather embarrassing secrets about how Hollywood and the film industry conduct their businesses. The information released was so damaging to Sony's reputation and the reputation of its employees that it led to the co-chairwoman, Amy Pascal, to stand down and resign from her position at the company. As a result of the information being released, Sony began to crack down hard on the media, pressuring them to cease and desist their reports about the hacking threatening them with lawsuits if they did not comply. Hindsight is 2020 in a lot of cases, and this holds true for hacking attempts, be they successful or otherwise. In this case, there does not seem to be a lot that Sony could have done to prevent this attack, since a GOP member stated that they already had complete access to Sony's databases as early as a year before the attack happened, so they could have launched that attack at any time. 
No security measures are 100% perfect, and a coordinated attack of this nature would be hard to stop, even with the most vigilant incident security measures in place. However, Sony still could have handled the fallout better than it did, especially when it came to their responses to the media. The threats to sue media outlets if they didn't drop the subject, as it were, were out of line and made it seem to the public that they cared more about their own bottom line and how much money this hack would cost them than about the damage done to the 47,000 employees and customers who had their social security numbers exposed to and stolen by the purported Guardians of Peace. Thankfully, Sony did not follow through on their threats to sue media outlets, most likely realizing that to do so would only damage their reputation even further. The main thing for Sony to learn from this event is to set their priorities straight when it comes to both managing their PR and protecting their personally identifiable information of the customers and employees from being stolen by those who would use that information against them. Thank you for watching.